Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and yes, the final part of my little mini series of how to configure uh, a failover cluster within Windows Server 2012. On this one, I'm going to show you guys how to test for the cluster. There's many ways to do it, but I'm going to show you one simple way. Uh, I think on the last video, we created a nice SMB share, and I'm going to go to my domain controller and mount my share. And uh, let's open up File Explorer on my file browser. Do a uh, command R and do a uh, BTNFS server. And I think it was the public that we did. There we go. Remember the hello world that we did on the last video? I'm going to copy and paste the uh, UFC path. And I'm going to go into computer, map a drive. I want to do it my Z. And we're going to hit finish. And there we go. So I have a bunch of stuff here. Let's uh, copy, paste, 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 copy, paste, 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 paste. There you go. A bunch of files. That's the way it's supposed to be. A bunch of files, right? It's a file server, right? So that's why we have files in it. Uh, let's go back into our no one. No one is our primary owner of this file share. And if we go into the file explorer with our node one, as you can see, all the all the files that I built, awesome. So the way that you can test it out is if you right click on your on your file share, and let's move it to a selected node. So let's move it to BJ node two. I want node two to have ownership of this. As you can see, it's pending. So let's go into this. Let's see if I'm opening it. As you see, it's it's over here refreshing itself so it's 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 a little bit of downsize again I'm running everything on a wireless network but it's running now so if I go back into this look at that it's awesome it ran it's it's not a huge downtime but it was pretty fast I mean I'm, I'm really satisfied with this uh, to be honest with you I really don't have something like this in place in my my work environment I would like to so most likely I'm gonna put this into place because I think this works a lot uh, so this is pretty awesome uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini series this uh, part I think it's four parts check them out uh, please leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next little mini series peace out